everyone have a great day and a great practice this morning. Keep yourself situated. Feet together all the way. Heels and toes touching. Stand up straight. Shoulders back. Chin up. Chest open. And then now let's go start our pranayama reading. Inlace your fingers all the way to the right. Crush your thumbs. Touch your toe. And let's begin. Inhale. Taking in lots of breath the back of your throat as your elbows fall up to the ceiling. Hold it at the top. Now exhale, drop your head back, look across the ceiling, find one spot. As you bring your hands together, wrists together, elbows touching off your chest. Inhale. Dragging lots of air over the back of your throat. Elbows float up to the ceiling, hold it at the top. Now exhale, really open your mouth. Making that H ha sound as you bring your hands together, wrists together, elbows touch. Inhale. Let your ribcage expand, your lungs fill up with air, hold it. Now exhale. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your ankles to ground your feet. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Fill up your lungs with air. Hold it. Now exhale. Really squeeze from below your belly button to get all the air out. Inhale. Exhale. And three more nice big deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. And one more, inhale. And exhale. <laughs> well, let's show down by your side. You can roll your shoulders around, loosen up your neck maybe a little bit. And good morning to Maynard. He's around. He's my yoga cat. And let me welcome anyone else. Hi, Anna. Hi, Elise. Hi, Glenn. All right. Hey, Jim, can you bring me my clock at some point? <laughs> All right. Second set. I didn't, I didn't get my setup on my clock. All right. Go ahead and lift your fingers once again. Thumbs touching your throat. And let's begin. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now exhale for six, five, four, Three, two, one, elbows touch, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale. Exhale.
And one more nice big breath. And exhale. Relax your arms down by your side. Once again, you can roll your shoulders around. Loosen up your neck maybe if you need to. Hi, Cameron. All righty. Let's start our half moon posture. Inhale, arms above your head, sideways, interlacing your fingers, releasing your index fingers, stretch up out of your waist. Then go left and right. As you go left and right, warm up your body. I'll grab my clock of your right back. Up, out, over, up, out, over. Keep loosening up, loosening up that spine. And now go ahead and stop in the middle. Palms together all the way down the wrist. Cross your baby fingers really tightly and your thumbs as well. Stretch your way up by the waist. Now go over to the right. Pushing your butt to the left, leading with the hip. Always keeping your head close. Squeeze in between your arms. Keep your chin up away from your throat. Breathe. We're trying to stretch the whole left side of our body, starting up in our fingertips, gradually going all the way down. Our wrists, our forearms, our triceps, our intercostal muscles, our obliques, our lats, into our left waistline. If you can, you can push it up a little bit more. Maybe use your right arm to pull the left arm up, or over, and down, coming into hmm, half moon, maybe crescent moon shape this morning. Breathe. In and out through your nose for the remainder of class. One more place, stretch a bit more if you can. And change. So you reverse, come back at the center. Adjust your grip if you need to. Now stretch way up out of your waist. Keep that length in your spine. Now go over to the left. Leading with your hip out to the right. And just breathe. You want your two shoulders in one line as well as your two hips. Once again, your chin is away from your chest. Squeezing your head in between your arms the best you can. Try to lock out your grip, crossing your baby fingers and your thumbs, stretching the whole right side of your body. Breathe. You want your feet nice and grounded. Engage your quads, engage your core. You can keep pushing your hips coming on down or one more place if you'd like. And change, slowly reverse, come back up to center. Now drop your head back, check out your neck, loosen up a little bit. If you need to, let's get ready for our first back bend. Now, stretch way up out of your waist. waist. Keep the length in your spine. Now, first move your arms. Try to get your arms as close to your as possible. Then, look back, keeping your arms as close to your as possible and rotating your hips forward. Keep looking back, stretching back, eyes back, arms back. Open up your chest, hips forward, weight to your heels. Go back. Stretch back, reach back, look back, more back. Change, slowly reverse, come on up, find your eyes. Second your stomach and slowly bend forward at the waist. Bending your knees if you have any back issues today. Hands come to the floor and walk it out. Ooh, that first forward bend, back bend to forward bend can be a little bit tough. So you can squat a couple times. Do a frog. That's what I'm doing now. Roll up on your toes. Wiggle your hips from side to side. Get some movement into those hips, into the lower couple of vertebrae. And let's get ready for his hands and feet pose. Feet together all the way. Bend your knees. Put your stomach on your thighs. Wrap your arms behind your calf muscles. Try to get your elbows as close as possible. Then get a grip wherever you can. Sucking in your stomach, slowly lift your hips up to the ceiling as you drop your head. The more you can engage your biceps, as always, the more you can pull down a little bit more effectively. At the same time, roll forward into your toes like a wheel, and that way you stretch your entire spine from your tailbone to the top of your head and from the tailbone to the bottom of your feet. Really try to get your elbows as close as possible. Pull and lift and exhale it all at the same time. And change. So we reverse, come on back up. Whoa. 
Here we walk back up to the top. And the arms float down by your side. Breathe. Let's try that all again. Second set's a little bit shorter. Always inhale, arms up. Inlace your fingers, release your next fingers. Stretch your way up out of your waist. Now go back over to the right. Once again, leading with the hip out to the left. Breathe in and out through your nose. If you're feeling strong today, keep pushing your hips. Coming on down, pushing your hips, coming on down, pushing your hips, coming on down, and change for the verse, come back up to center. Now stretch way up off your waist and then over to the left. Leading with your hip out, hip out, hip out, hip out, hip out, hip out. Squeeze your head in between your arms, chin up, eyes open, palms together, all the way down to the wrist. Keep pushing your hips. Coming on down, stretch up, come down, one more place, change, or reverse, come on back up. Now I'll turn in profile for the second back bend, stretch up way out of your waist, keep the arms as close to your head as possible, move them first, opening up your chest, and now roll your hips forward, look for your back wall, look back. Stretch back, go back, reach back, arms back, eyes back, look back, stretch back, go back, way back, and change to the reverse. Slowly come back up and slowly bring forward at the waist. Hands to your knees. If you ever have any back issues, now we're in the past. And once again, walk it out. Shake and shimmy. Get some movement into those feet. And now our second set of hands to feet pose. Once again, feet together all the way, heels and toes touching. See how I wrap my arms and try back behind my calf muscles and get them as close as possible first. Then my fingertips where they land, I get a grip, I pull, and I lift at the same time. Exhale, stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees. Roll forward like a wheel. And if you can pull, you can stretch. Allow your spine to breathe creating length between each and every vertebrae as you pull and lift at the same time. One more place. And change the reverse to my back up. And arms float down by your side, breathe. All righty then. Awkward's up next. Take a step out to the right. Measure if you need to. Do tight fists up between your toes and heels. I mean it. All righty. Let's get ready for our first part. Inhale, arms up. All five fingers together. Arms are shoulder height and shoulder width apart. Inhale. As you exhale, bend your knees and sit down. Like you're sitting in a chair that's a little bit too far away from me. Chest up. Chin up. Stretch your fingertips forward. Keep those arms and triceps engaged. Breathe. Wiggle the weights with the, your toes so your weights in your heels. And change. Don't get over here. Come on back up. High up on your toes. When you're ready, you engage your abdominals and slowly bend your knees. Coming down to only the level of the chairs, heels stay way up in the air. Once again, those fingers are stretching. Those arms are completely engaged. Come on down, heels up, and change. So the reverse, come on back up, and then drop your heels. Third part, come up a little bit, squeeze your inner thighs together. And now you slowly slide down. If you like to practice on your back wall, try to keep your shoulders and hips sliding down and one all, all connected to the wall. If you have bad knees, it's always okay to stop where you need to. Breathe and change. Roll the reverse, go back, back up. Drop your heels, bring your feet back together and arms down by your side. You can roll your shoulders back if you need to. Breathe. You okay? All righty. Second set, take a step back into the footprint. You can measure if you need to once again. Two tight fists. Inhale, arms up. 
all fingers together. Inhale as you exhale. Once again, bend your knees and sit down. Breathe. Keeping your core engaged really tightly. Maybe the more you get ankle flexibility, more the lower you'll be able to sit without coming forward, keeping your chest back and lifted and change. So the verse come on back up. High up on your toes. When you're ready, engage those abdominals and slowly bend your knees. Coming up over the top of your toes. Slowly and securely, heels staying way up in the air if you can. Quads engaged. And chain. So your verse come on back up and drop your heels. Third part come up a little bit once again. Squeeze your thighs together. And once again, slowly slide down. Your knees are leading the way. And if they finally find a place right above your heels, then you can bounce a couple of times. But try and engage your core and lift your hips higher than your heels, higher than your knees, rather. So if there's a ball in your lap, it roll down to the floor. Change the reverse, come on back up. Drop your heels, bring your feet back together, and arms down by your side. Breathe. How are you doing yoga with me? We already finished that pose. It's time to move on. Okay. <laughs> Eagles up next. Inhale, arms up. Pause. Touch. Turn your right arm underneath your left. Twist your arms like ropes. Palms together. Thumbs next to your face. Bring your elbows down and sit down. Stay well low. Now bring your right leg high over around the left. Wrap the foot behind the calf muscle if it goes. If it doesn't, don't worry too much about it. Breathe. Lean your body back, bend your knees, sit down, squeeze, 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 and change fully into your legs, and then your arms, palms touch you above your head, now left and the right. And now bring your elbows down to release those shoulder blades behind you. As you sit down, stay well low, left leg up over on the right, squeeze. If you can, maybe interlace your fingers all the way webbing, then release your fingers up. Everything one day underneath your nose, your fingers, your wrists, your elbows, your knees, and your ankles in one line. Change the reverse, come on back up, and arms up, palms touch your head, right in the left again. Swing it, twist it. Elbows down, sit down, stay real low. Right leg up over on the left. Hey, you have to stay in the room the whole time. No leaving the yoga room. Breathe. Students these days don't listen to you very well. Squeeze and change on into your legs, and your arms, palms touch, left on the right. Elbows down, sit down, stay well low. Left leg up over on the right. Squeeze. Elbows down to release those shoulder blades, sit down. Try to be really small in the room if you can. Change into your legs, into your arms. Woohoo! Palms touch above your head. And now arms plant down by your side. Breathe. All right. Have a little bit of water if you need to. Beautiful warm up today. Hope everyone's still doing okay. And let's get ready to bounce this morning. Do your best. Try not to judge yourself. I know I'm the worst, have the worst habit of judging myself if I fall. So try not to do that with yourself today. All right. Stand your forward knees up first. Stand up straight, shoulders back, chin up, chest open. Shift your weight to your left leg and open your right. Extend your knee. Grab two inches below your kneecap. Or round down and grab two inches below your toes. Lock your standing leg. We're on the clock for one minute. Keep your quads engaged, your abdominal engaged as well, and breathe. As we proceed through the next couple of postures, our heart rate is generally going to start creeping up. Do your best through your exhale breath to try and keep it at a manageable level. We're halfway right now. If at any point you'd like to add on, it's quite up to you. 
but make sure the preceding step in your posture is very strong. Breathe. If you're rounding down and grabbing your foot, make sure that you have a, a nice grip. It can be malleable. It can be different on different days. Maybe your fingertips are just touching. Maybe they're nice all the way to webbing. It's up to you. Just keep working at it. Coming up on the end, last three, two, one, change. So reverse them straight. Shoulders back. Breathe. Shift your weight to your right leg and up with your left. Extend your knee. Grab your knee, two inches below your kneecap. Around down and grab your toes, two inches below your toes. We're on the clock for one minute. Breathe. One side you may feel looks or feels so much better than the other. It's pretty common. Breathe. Slowly, gently in and out through your nose. All the while, keeping that quad engaged, keeping those abdominals engaged. Those are both big sets of muscles. They want to release after a while. They get fatigued really easily. But come back to re-engaging them for halfway. Breathe. Add on if you like. If you're grabbing your foot, you want to round down. Or slowly bring your heel to the front mirror. Or if you're grabbing your knee, you may want to try to round down and grab your toes. But if you do kick out in the second set, try to always start by grabbing your toes in the first. It's just good practice to make a solid, firm, foundational posture. Three. And change. So the first thing to say, shoulders back. Three. Very good, everyone. Second set, half the time. Do your best once again. Come on. Well, you made yourself back in the room. All right. Shift your weight to your left leg and up at your right. Extend your knee. Grab your knee or your toes. Lock your leg on the clock. When you're ready, feel free to add on. You can slowly, gently bring your heel toward the front mirror or the front of your room, rather. That leg is completely locked. Standing leg is locked. Bring your toes back to your face. Bring your elbows down when they go below your calf muscle. Then you can only then bring your forehead to your knee. Breathe. Change from the reverse. Stand up straight. Breathe. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. I did pretty good today. Let's try and see the other side. Shift your weight to your right leg. Inhale, pick up your left. Extend your knee. Grab two inches below your kneecap. Around, down, and grab two inches below your toes. Lock your standing leg. Breathe. On the clock. When you're ready, feel free to add on at any time. You can slowly, gently bring your heel toward the front mirror. If you're just exploring where your next position is, take it slow. Toes back, elbows down. And then slowly forehead to knee. Change to reverse. Come on back up. Breathe. All righty. Try to bring your heart rate down. And let's move on. Standing bows up next. Bend your right palm up. Drop it down. Grab your ankle from the inside, then turn your body. Only your left shoulder should be forward. Left arm up next to your head. Keep it there on the clock. You got one minute to express your posture. Kick and reach. The more you can stretch the left hand up into the air, keeping it next to your head, the more stretch you'll have on the whole left side. And you can concentrate a little bit more on kicking back and up. If you do, you see your toes coming up at least over your shoulder, if not your head, then you can slowly start kicking forward, kicking back and up and coming down. Two more one day land right on that shoulder as you roll forward, kicking up and stretching. Last 10. Change a little verse. On down. Breathe. Left palm up, left side, drop it down. Grab your ankle from the inside. Now turn your body. 
right them up next to your face. Keep it there. And we're on the clock. Just kick and reach. If you can allow your body to open up, stretch your right arm next to your head, feeling a nice, gentle stretch on the right side as you kick back and up. Behind you. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. And we're halfway. Once again, if you start coming down, make sure you're really kicking back and up. Don't let your leg ever be lagging behind. Keep kicking and stretching and reaching. Breathe. Last 10. Change. Very good. So we reverse. Arm down. Breathe. Let me try it in profile today for the second set. I'll try and keep track <laughs> of the time best I can. Right palm up, drop it down, grab your ankle, turn your body. Left arm up next to your face, keep it there. On the clock. Kicking reach. See my hip opening up and kicking back and up as I come down and slowly come down. Chin on the shoulder, stretch, kick, reach, and shank. Pull your reverse, breathe. It's kind of disorienting looking at the clock and facing a different direction. All righty, left palm up, drop it down, Grab your ankle, turn your body, right shoulder forward, left right arm up next to your face, keep it there, and on the clock, kick and reach. Stretch, kick, reach. The only thing tilting is your hips, and that's from kicking back and up. Stretch, your fingertips forward, chins on that right shoulder, kick, reach, come on down, kick up, stretch, and change. Go reverse, come on back up. And drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. All righty. Take a step to the back of your mat and towel if you're not already there for balancing stick. First set I'll do facing. Second, I'll be in profile. All righty. Inhale, arms up. Inlace your fingers, release your fingers, squeeze your head. Take a step to your right foot, point the toe, shift the weight. Left foot up off the floor. And pivot. Leg up, body down. Stretch. Squeeze your head, point your toes, lock your leg, and change. A little verse, come on back up. Stretch up, lean back. Left foot forward, right foot back and up, and pivot. Leg up, body down. Squeeze. And change. A little verse, come on back up. And arms down by your side. Breathe. All right. Second set. Inhale, arms up. Inlace your fingers, release your fingers, squeeze your head. Right foot forward, left foot back, and pivot. Leg up, body down. Squeeze your head in between your arms. Choose. Hips in one line, point your toes, lock your leg, and change. So your first, come on back up, stretch up, lean back, left foot forward, right foot back, and leg up, body down. Squeeze. Lock your leg, point your toes, and change. So your first, come on back up, and arms down by your side. Woo! Breathe. And step. I go a little bit deeper in the morning because I'm a morning folk. All righty. I've been up now for five hours. So, all right. So, separate legs stretching. Let's get ready. Inhale, arms up. Palms touch. Step out to the right. Arms down. Turn your toes in toward each other. So, to orient your hips a little bit up. Suck in your stomach and slowly before. Chin out. Shoulder blades back. 
And for this first set, by all means, take the opportunity to stretch forward, keeping your arms to the floor and just kind of working on keeping your spine as straight as possible. If you have really tight hips, you may want to bend your knees a little bit. So that tight, the tight hips don't start rounding your upper back because that's normally what happens. So bend your knees a little bit, orient your hips up to the ceiling, and then just exhale. Maybe one day you can have your elbows down to the floor. That actually allows your spine to stretch a little bit further. And just breathe. Sometimes if you have really long legs, sometimes you can grab opposite elbows and just stretch. Since my legs are short, it doesn't give me any added traction guiding my elbows because they're on the floor already. But breathe. Exhale, roll forward into your toes. And change to reverse, come on back up. Bring your feet back together, arms up overhead. And arms float down by your side. Breathe. For the second set, I'll do it in profile. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, step out to the right, arms down. Turn your toes once again in towards each other, suck in your stomach, and slowly before chin out, shoulder blades back like you're swan diving. Yes, off the cliffs in Acapulco. Run your hands down the back of your legs, cup your hands from behind, get those elbows as close as possible behind you, and then lift up and pull down equally and simultaneously. Breathe. Exhale and pull. Exhale and stretch. Exhale and first off, try to keep your chin up a little bit. Chest coming down to the floor. Pull, roll forward into your toes. Almost there. And change, so you reverse, come on back up. Bring your feet back together, arms up over your head. Arms float down by your side. Breathe. All righty. If you grew up with was a child of the 60s and 70s, like I was, the wild, the wild world of sports used to come on on the weekend, mostly on Sundays, but sometimes Saturday as well. And they always had at least once a time, once, once a year, the Acapulco Cliff Diving Championships. And this beautiful swan diving coming off the cliffs way up into the water was a spectacular thing to see. Breathe. Not that you youngsters would know about that or remember that. Breathe. Let's get ready for triangle there. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, step out to the right, arms down, right toes to the right, left toes in, suck in your stomach, bend the right knee, sit down. Sit down to the thighs parallel to the floor, and then go ahead and move your arms. Right elbow to the right knee, stretching your left arm up to the ceiling. Catherine, make sure you keep your wrist straight. You don't want a bit wrist. Reaching for those big toes, chin on the left shoulder, sitting down, stretching. Up, 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 up. The only thing moving down is that left hip. Breathe. And change the reverse, come on back up. Right toes in, left toes out. Suck in your stomach. And bend the left knee, sit down. Go ahead and move your arms, left elbow to the left knee, stretching your right arm up to the ceiling. Chin's on that right shoulder. You want your arms as straight up and down as possible. Your right shoulder back to your back wall. And also, use your left elbow to push the left knee back. Mini spine twist. As you sit down, you stretch up. Once again, this is the up posture. If your fingertips are really close to the floor, there should be little or no weight on those fingertips. And change the reverse, come on back up. Turn your left toes in, bring your right foot back to meet it. Arms above your head, and arms float down by your side. Breathe. Second set. Arms up, palms touch. Take your head back to the right, arms down. Right toes out, left toes in. Suck in your stomach, bend the right knee, sit down. And go ahead and move your arms. 
Chin on that left shoulder, stretching up. All fingers together, no jazz hands. Breathe. Right elbow to push the right knee back. And left shoulder back a little bit, looking up. Chin on that left shoulder if you can. Sit down, stretch up. And change. Let birth come on back up. Right toes in, left toes out. Second your stomach, bend the left knee, sit down. And go ahead and move your arms. Left elbow, left knee, stretching your right arm up to the ceiling. Breathe. Working every muscle, bone, organ, tissue in your body. This is a master posture. This is a top of the mountain, as we say. Breathe. Keep control of your breath. And change. Let reverse come on back up. Left toes in. Bring your feet back together. Arms above your head. And arms float down by your side. Breathe. All right, just a couple more things before we get to the floor. Standing separate leg for today. Not my favorite posture, but it's getting better for me over the years. Inhale, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs over your head. Take a step back to the right. Lift your toes and pivot to the right side of your room. Adjust your back foot. You want both feet facing the same direction, about hip width distance apart. And stretch up. Whoa, tuck your chin into your chest. And leave it there and slowly round on down. When your fingertips get four, you can release them a little bit and bring your forward to your knee. You want your two hips in one line if possible. Breathe and stretch your spine up and bring your forward to your knee. This is where you're creating that arch with your spine. Change to the reverse, come on back up. Turn and a turn to the left. Once again, you can always adjust your back foot. Both feet facing the same direction, both hips facing the same direction. Stretch up, tuck your chin deeply into your chest and slowly round down. Keeping your chin tucked the whole way down for it to knee. Breathe. We're, we're engaging the thyroid gland by squeezing that area underneath your chin with your chin tucked to your chest, choking off your throat. Really going to refresh that thyroid gland when we release. Change the reverse. Turn. Bring your feet back together and drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. Refreshing the thyroid gland. Is responsible for increasing your metabolism, which Lord knows I need in this time since we don't have the hot room. Breathe. All righty. Second set. Inhale, arms up. Take a step out to the right. Lift your toes, pivot. Adjust your back foot. Stretch up, tuck your chin, and round out. If you think of this posture as coming up and then like the, the apex of a roller coaster, as you start coming down, make it a real steep descent, curving your spine like a standing form of rabbit. For it to me, change the reverse, come on back up, turn, and one more turn. Stretch up, squeeze your head, tuck your chin, and leave it there for a round down. Forehead to knee. Breathe. Change the way it Come on back up. Turn. Bring your feet back together. And drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. All righty then. Come to the center of your mat and towel. We have time for both tree and toe this morning. Staying up straight. Shoulders back, chin up, chest open. Shift your weight to your left leg and up at your right. Grab them underneath by the toes. Let the knee just do what it wants to do. And bring your right hand in prayer. 
three. If you have any knee issues, as always, try not to let that limit you in this posture. It can be straight out, parallel. Really, you want to engage the hip joint more than your knee joint. Breathe. But if your knee is okay, you can actually stretch up and pivot that femur bone from the hip and then just let that knee point down to the floor. Change the reverse, come on back up. Shoulders back, chin up, chest open, shift your weight to your right leg, in up, and give your left. Once again, grab from underneath by the toes. Left hand in prayer. Breathe. Keep your core nice and engaged, just for a little bit longer. Really engage the quad. Keep your tree nice and tall. Be the beautiful tree that you choose to be today. And change, so reverse, come on back up. Breathe. A second set of tree to stand if that's up for you, you're up for that today. Shift your weight to your left leg and up with your right. Grab from underneath by the toes. Let the knee just do what it wants to do. Bring your right hand in prayer. Toe stand, left hand as well. Slowly bend forward at the waist. Wind your fingertips, get to the floor about two feet in front of you. Then you lift your heel. Come straight down over your toes so you don't worry those knee ligaments. And then bring your hands back by your hips. Straighten your spine. Then bring your left hand in prayer. Then right hand in prayer. Breathe. Toe stand change. And now everybody change. So reverse. Stand up straight. Shoulders back. Breathe. Shift to your right leg and up your left. Left hand in prayer. Right hand if you're going to the toe stand. Once again, slowly bend forward at the waist. Then lift your heel, come straight over your toes. Because if you switch out or in or out with your knee, you may engage those knee ligaments a little bit. You could stretch them out a little bit like they shouldn't be stretched. Then bring your hands back by your hips and straighten your spine. Then bring your left hand in prayer, then right hand in prayer. Toe stand change. And now everybody change the reverse, stand up straight, shoulders back, breathe. All righty. It's time now to move our mover mats and towels, or if they're already in their proper position, I guess go down to the floor. Savasana, Shavasana, the same thing. Dead body pose, palms facing up, breathe. All righty. Hopefully you can see the top of my head. Breathe. And yes, I do get up every morning at 5.30 now. All the mornings are pretty much the same. Breathe. Let your belly rise and fall. It looks like I lost my yoga student for today. He usually likes this posture. Breathe. Maynard. Maynard. Come back into the room. All right, while we're waiting for our student, let's start our four series with when we're leaving poses up first. In up into right knee up. Inlace your fingers all the way, grabbing, pull your knee out to the side, then down toward your shoulder. Elbows and close to your body, tuck your chin deeply into your chest. Extend that left leg to the back wall, left toes back to your face. Pull a little bit harder with your left bicep to keep that left shoulder on the floor as you pull your right knee to your right shoulder. And change the reverse. Inhale, bring your left leg up. Inhale, your fingers towards below your knee. Put your knee out and then down. Up, down, and around if you can. And then pull a little bit harder with your right bicep to keep your right shoulder on the floor 
and extend that right heel towards your back wall, right calf on the floor, tuck your chin deeply into your chest, exhale, pull and stretch, and change the reverse. Inhale, bring both legs up, give yourself a big hug. It doesn't matter what you grab. Today, mm, I'm grabbing my elbows, I don't know why, but I'm gonna see if I can actually stretch my spine a little bit further, all the while grab my elbows. It's really difficult to do. Mm, exhale, exhale and push, and push, and push. Change, so reverse, relax, release, savasana. FYI, that doesn't work really the best for me to try to try and get my hips all the way down to the floor if I grab my elbows. So what I normally do is just grab my the middle of my arms, my forearms. Then I can concentrate a little bit more on getting my hips completely down to the floor. Let's try our second set. You know, bend your right knee up, you know, and let your fingers turn to blow your kneecap, pull your knee out, and then down. Extend that left heel to the back wall, elbows and close to your body, tuck your chin deeply into your chest, give yourself a double chin, and change the reverse. Inhale, bend your left leg up, exhale out, and then down. Stretch. Pull. And change the reverse. Inhale, bring both legs up. I'm going to not grab as high up to my elbows. And then now if I can just gently allow my hips to come down to the floor. As I exhale all the air of my body. And change. Very good. Relax, release. Savasana. Breathe. Alrighty, time for our first sit up. If you have any back issues today, just roll onto your stomach. Otherwise, bend your knees or arms above your head. Inhale, come on up. Stretch up, touch your toes. Exhale twice. Shh, the knees. Come around onto your stomachs for a spine strengthening series. Up first, cobra pose. Bring your fingertips in line with your shoulders. Look down. Make sure they're in line with your shoulders. Chin on your towel. Elbows in close to your body, squeeze your legs together as well. Get ready. Inhale, lift up. Boom, right away to that 90 degree angle. Chin up, eyes up to the ceiling. Belly button down, squeeze your glutes, top of your feet on the floor, stretch, heels together, legs engaged, and chain. So reverse, chin down, and move to the right. Left on the towel, breathe. 10 second posture is about a 20 second rest. Breathe. Second set. Once again, fingertips in under your shoulders, elbows in close to, close to your body, chin on the towel, squeeze your legs together. Get ready. Inhale, lift up. Boom. Right away to that nine degree angle. Eyes up, chin forward, squeeze your glutes, and change. So reverse chin down. And look to the left, right on the towel. Breathe. Oh Lord, it's locust time. Lift your hips, slide your hands way underneath your body. Palms facing your floor. Now point your right toes, lock the right leg, lift the right leg back to your back wall, up to the ceiling. You want your two hips in one line. You don't want to fly your leg over. You want to keep your hips as close as possible to level as possible. Get your hip off your hand and change to reverse. Point your left toes, lock your left leg, lift the left leg back to the back wall, up towards your ceiling. Keeping those hips in one line. Try to keep your hip off your hand if you can on the left side. Breathe. And change to reverse. Mouth down, kiss your towel. Readjust even closer. Get the air moving. Inhale, lift both legs up. Boom. Roll the weight into your elbows, into your shoulders.
and chain. Very good. Legs out, arms out, look to the right, breathe. I was trying to see if I could bend my knees to come into Scorpion, but my hips aren't high enough up off the floor and my shoulders aren't open enough to allow that to happen. Second set, but it's a work in progress. Loop your hips, slide your hands underneath your body, pause into the floor, point your right toes, lock the right leg, lift the right leg back and up. Breathe. Lock your leg, point your toes, and change the reverse. Point your left toes, lock your left leg, lift the left leg back and up. Then change. Mouth down, kiss the towel, readjust the arms. Even closer. Get ready. You have lift both legs up. I'm working on my shoulders now. Chain to reverse. Arms out. Leg down. Leg down, arms out. Look to the left. Right on the towel. Breathe. You can really feel it in that shoulder joint if you try and lift your belly button up off the floor on in that posture. It really starts getting into the, the targeting area a little bit more effectively. All righty. Full look is up next. Two on the towels. Arms out like airplane wings. All fingers together. Squeeze your legs together as well. Get ready. Inhale, lift up. Boom. Everything up in the air. All fingers together. Legs together. Look up. Eyes up. And change. So reverse chain down. And look to the right. Left arm the towel. Breathe. Take a set, chin on the towel, arms out. Squeeze your legs together, get ready. Inhale, lift up. Boom, everything up in the air. Squeeze your legs together, arms up, eyes up. Look up. And change, deliver, chin down. And look left. Right here on the towel, breathe. All righty. Come on, boss. Up next, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> Bend your knees, grab your feet together. Grab, grab, put your hands where your shoelaces would be, and then try to bring your knees together and your feet together behind you. Keep your hands on the floor. Now just keep your legs up. Once you feel your legs coming up off the floor, your knees up, then look up. Roll forward and kick. Stretch. Eyes up. Breathe. <laughs> Quads up. Look up, stretch up. 10 more seconds, you can do it. Go on, kick. Look up, stretch up, point your toes, and change. Very good. Woo Everything down, and look to the right. Breathe. Second set, chill and towel. Bend your knees, grab your feet. Bring your knees together, start. Kick your legs up. Watch them coming up with your chin and your up and like I'm going to stretch up. Eyes up, kick up. Look up. Stretch. Almost there. Five. And change. Very good. So reverse. Woo -hoo. Look to the left, the right on the towel, and down by your side, breathe. All righty. Hands underneath your shoulders. Come up to the top of your mat and towel. Now for your set of fixed firm. We have time for two sets today. 
If you can sit down comfortably in between your heels, please do so. Separating your knees as wide as you need to be. If you have knee issues, you can extend one leg forward, one leg back. That's a half saddle. Or a hurdle stretch, as we call it. And go back when you're ready, one elbow at a time. Back of the head down, head down, shoulder down. Grabbing opposite elbows over your head. As this is not my normal story time, we watched Cats, the movie, the new movie that recently came out, last night on DVD, and I wasn't all that impressed. I first saw the production, oh, back in the early 80s, and with Betty Buckley on Broadway, and it was mesmerizing. This version oh, was not so mesmerizing. Breathe. And change, so reverse, come on back up, using your elbows and shoulders, come up to the top of your mat and towel, release your knees, turn around onto your backs for Savasana. And don't get me wrong, we love cats. But that musical, the cavity transporting all the other cats to a place on the ship, that never happened in the play. All righty. <laughs> Breathe. And now back to yoga. Touch your feet, arms above your head, and I'll come on up, stretch up, touch your toes. Exhale twice. Shh. Come around now for the second set. Up, fix firm. Breathe. I do that little intermission to make sure you guys are still with me. If you're not, maybe at some other point, you'll rejoin the broadcast. Head down. Back of the neck down. Grabbing up the elbows over your head. Breathe. And if you want to try to bring your knees as close together as possible, it really stretches the front line of your quads and it kind of lifts your hips up into the air, making that little arch in your back. Tucking your chin and change. Very good. Fully reverse. Come on back up using your elbows and shoulders. Come up to the top of your mat and towel. Release those achy breaky knees. And turn around on your backs for Savasana. Breathe. Put your feet on top of your head and I'll come up. Touch your toes. Exhale twice. Come around now. The next three postures we'll do all in a row. Sitting down close to the back of your mat and towel. Our animal series is up. Half towards is up first. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, cross your thumbs. If you have back issues, you can have your hands on your knees and slowly come on forward. Otherwise, stretch up and slowly come forward. Get your forehead to the floor first and then your baby fingers. All at the same time, it's okay. Keeping your hips on your heels. Exhale. Let your spine breathe as you exhale. Feel it lengthening and creating space between each and every joint in your vertebrae. Exhale, stretch. Exhale, reach forward exactly the same time. And change from the reverse. Come on back up. And arms down. Breathe. Then come up on your knees for camel. You can separate your knees about hip width distance apart. Hands go to your back. Stretch up. Push your hips forward and look across your ceiling. Whoa. <laughs> Find your back wall and keep pushing forward. Eyes back, looking back. They keep your hips coming forward. Elbows coming together behind you as best you can. You can grab your heels if you can. The first set, I'm just going to keep pushing my hips forward. 
opening up the front side of my body, opening up my heart. Exhale. 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 Change hands to the back of the dowager feet. And now sit down. Breathe. Wrap it up next. Flip a towel over the back of your heels if you need it for your hip. <laughs> Grip. <laughs> Stretch up. Tuck your chin in and round back into yourself. Bring your shoulders forward, forward to your knees. Top of the head of the floor, get a good grip with your hips. Right in the air. You want your hips and knees in one line as you keep your chin really tucked and curled. And change to reverse. Chin off your chest last. Turn around onto your backs. Or some awesome. Breathe. Hope everyone's doing well out there. And then we'll sit up, flex your feet, arms above your head, and I'll come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice. Come around now. I'm going to do it in profile. The second set. If you're just watching and not practicing at the same time, that gives you a different perspective. All righty, but you all should be practicing with me. Otherwise, inhale, arms up, arms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up, slowly come forward. Keep, try to keep your hips on your hand, keep hips on your heels, and slowly come forward. Forehead and maybe just at the same time if you can, and now stretch forward and stretch back equally, creating room for your spine to breathe, as I said previously. As you exhale, exhale and stretch and reach equal and simultaneously and change on the reverse. Come on back up and drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. Now come up on your knees. Separate the hip with distance apart. You can bring your feet together behind you and make a little like a little tripod. Sometimes that feels a little bit stronger for me, but that's just me. Otherwise, have your hands on your backs wherever you may need the extra support. It could be low down. It could be a little bit higher up mid back if you can. Stretch up, push your floor, look across the ceiling, find the back wall, elbows back. And grab for your heels if you're ready. All the way up. Pushing hips forward, eyes looking down, hips forward, stretch, breathe. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And change, so the reverse, come on back up and sit down, breathe. Sometimes if you try and play with the positioning of your hands, see what happens if you bring your hands up a little bit higher. And then so you stretch your upper chest up and back a little bit further. It's something to work on if you haven't tried that. Rabbits up next. Once again, flip a towel if you need it. Otherwise, stretch up, tuck your chin, chin into your chest, and round back into yourself. Then bring your shoulders forward, forehead to your knees, top to the floor, get a good grip into your Breathe, heels together. Chin tuck, hip tuck. Roll forward. Exhale. Chin for reverse. Come on back up. Chin off your chest last. Woohoo! Turn around onto your back. Force the last center. Breathe. Exhale. 
All righty, time for our home stretch. Flex your feet, arms above your head. Inhale, come on up. Stretch up, touch your toes. Exhale twice, nose to knees. Come around now. Our final stretch. Now, step for that stretching for your knee. Right leg out, shoulder left foot on the right inner thigh. If you have any knee issues, it doesn't matter where you place your foot. It could be anywhere, it could be up, down, wherever feels good to you. Take your knee issues out of the equation and still proceed with the posture. That's my philosophy. All righty, inhale, arms up, stretch up, turn, twist, round down. Grabbing over the bottom of your foot, bring your toes back to your face, bring your elbows down, and forward to knee. Breathe. Breathe. If you really need to work your hamstrings, your Achilles tendon, really concentrate on bringing your toes back toward your face, pulling with that grip so your heel pops up off the floor and you really get a good stretch underneath from below your kneecap all the way down to your heel. That way you can bring your elbows down to the floor. Really forward to knee without balancing. Woohoo! Change from the verse, come on back up. Switch out your legs. Left leg up, right leg in. Stretch up, turn twist, round down. Forward to knee. And breathe. Elbow down. Exhale. And change. We'll reverse, come on back up. Bring both legs up. Scoot up a little bit if you need to. Lie back. As soon as you're it, come on up. Stretch up, touch your toes. Exhale twice. All righty. Bend your knees. Put your stomach on your thighs. Leave it there. Now, keep your stomach on your thighs. I can see Steph, stomach on your thighs the whole time. Just walk your hips back. Walk your hips back. See stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees. Let me turn. Chest on your knees, stomach on your thighs, and then exhale. You don't want too round of a back. You want your spine as straight as possible. So lifting up from your lower spine and pushing it forward. Exhale. 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 Okay, so the verse come on back up. Scoot up a little bit, lie back, breathe. Another set of flex your feet, arms up over your head, you know, come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice. Our final spinal is upon us. Now, you can extend your left leg out or left knee toward the front of your room. The right ankle's over at your left knee, corner right arms really close behind you both hips on the floor left arm up over and around use the elbow to push the knee back out of the way grab that underneath knee stretch up now really use your hand behind you and stretch up before you turn to create that length in your spine and look over your right shoulder if you don't need that hand behind you you can pick it up and put it on your left inner thigh that way you can have your elbow Lead your way across your back wall, then your shoulder follows, then your chin follows. Stretch, turn, twist. Woohoo! Change, hold over. That felt so good. All righty, let's try the other side. Left, right knee forward or right leg forward, it doesn't matter. Left ankle of the right knee corner. Left arm really close behind you. Right arm up, stretch. Now, lift yourself up out of your waist. And turn and look over your left shoulder. Elbow leading the way or shoulder leading the way. Your chin follows it around. Stretch, turn, twist. Stretch up, then turn and twist. Stretch, turn, twist. Stretch, turn, twist. Woohoo! Change color, turn all the way around, let on your back. Samasana. Breathe.
Like your beat arms above your head, and I'll come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice. Come around now. Get your set up. Well, however you like to do your final breathing, whether it be knees, heels, and toes all the way together, across like an easy pose, or legs straight out in front of you. But do start with a straight spine, shoulders back, hands on your knees, and let's begin. Make your lips swallow a couple times. Our second set should be just a little bit faster. All right. And let's begin. everyone please turn around onto your back close your eyes this is your final savasana take your time this morning if you do have it try to maybe put on some nice music if you like calm your breath bring your heart rate down if it's still a little bit elevated thank you so much for joining me today i'll be here tomorrow at the same time same channels Thank you so much once again for coming. Stay safe out there. And last but not least, as always, please don't forget to thank yourself. Have a beautiful day.